Hello all and welcome back to another episode of a Let's Play Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition. We got two extra points, so let's increase our... our levels. We have two more points for her, so increase the first aid and Liara, let's increase your... Uh, let's give you stasis and then first aid and Stand hello down. sorry we couldn't be sure what was on the tram i'd only be upset if they'd fired even hopped up on stems my people know the rule two legs good four legs bad <laughs> look you're human and that's enough that i won't shoot but i'd like to know who you are my name is shepherd i'm a specter Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. You. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not going to let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Okay, thank you. Now, this facility... Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. Okay. Aliens? What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. Okay. The hot labs? I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Okay. Benezio? You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Okay, and How are your, your stuff? people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! go! What? Enemy is everywhere! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Okay. Is that elevated to quarantine labs? Okay. Let's see what we can find out here. You're not gonna go to the hot labs, are you? Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. Barracks? 
What else? Maybe what you can get here. I really hate this mini game. It's not fun. Come on, pass, 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 pass. Take all, thank you. My contract was up. I was going home. Lay still. What? Good work. You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you study? What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Okay, Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the matriarch. Then why would I? <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Arraeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Did I interrupt something? I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Sorry, I'll leave. Then I will return to my meditations. Science pukes. She just bugger. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously. I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively. I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Tell me what Let's you have got. a look. <laughs> Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. There. <laughs> what does it cost? Mm, yeah, sure. What? No! <sighs> Sorry, I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. Yes. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Okay. Personal. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Not your lab. Come on. Uh, 
Okay, now let's see what do we have. Two hot lamps. No. Warning, watchdog protocol is active. Okay, so we can go there. What is here? Hang on. What, what? What do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Of course Our I won't. and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Uh, I'll be. talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I need to get into the maintenance areas. I have a pass, but there's nothing back there. Just snow. Well, snow and maintenance access. Things are going to hit the fan in this place. Slip me the card and I'll keep your team safe. I have your word on that. Just don't tell the guards. They're twitchy enough. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay. Well, we have two. We know how to get... Quarantine Labs. Yeah, let's try talking to the guy. Turn it wrong. That's the warranty Lab. We don't want to go there. Yet. What we want to do... Is go up here. A secure lab, I guess. And yeah, let's go talk to to do the guy, the guy in charge. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. I've got work to do. You and me both. So now I know I can go in. Make a cure. 
quarantine labs. Okay. Not wrong, it's this way. Okay. Let's see. So was that create a core cure? The back door. That's a secure lab. Confused, but yeah. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes, I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. Yeah. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Okay. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. Tell me about Rachni. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Benezia. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Why would I want to go to the... Your lab was that. Yeah, let's go make. You're not part of the crew. Call me Shepard. I'm a Spectre, sent by the Citadel. There aren't any human Spectres. Look, Plague doesn't care who you are. This lab is under quarantine. What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should yes. stand watches on the barricade. Okay. Uh... 
Your mission ends here, Shepard. What the hell? You're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Are Weapons we? free! Doctor killed the guard. Okay. They came out of there. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her? Venezia brought them with her. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Wait, okay. let's go and bring the cure. Is that the cure? Yeah. Get it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. Well, I. I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess, Saren the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. Okay. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. Yeah. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Thanks for the warning. Here's the cure. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Let's see, squad. Still not uh, in that solace. Just level up stuff, first aid. There we go. I just talk to him. The girl, Doctor at risk. What should I talk to him? They seem to be coming along well. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Okay. Your job. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Sala, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. How's the science team holding up? I've been administering stims at their request. Talk to you later. Of course. Okay. So I'm guessing we are going now to the hot labs? Oh, 
Should we go through the maintenance? Let's see. I, I have everything, so let's just go that way, I guess. Passing like half the thing? I'm not sure. But let's save! Han Olad! My men. We are going this way. This is a perfect place for them, yep. Thank you for the money. More Rackney, please. Okay, here we go. To the secure lab or to the restricted? Let's see what's in secure lab. Uh, it's Benezia. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours. Raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Oh, this is Phil. Okay. They're dead. <laughs> Again. That's a little bit more problematic. Where are those?
Here we go. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will... You... Okay. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. Okay. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. Uh -huh. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Interesting. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Thank you. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You, sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Nice. Die. Oh, come on. Move you to. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Maybe he does. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. What do? Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> Oof.
This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable. But necessary. Do what you must. Before okay. you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, I don't trust this thing. We know it's kind or killers. The tank is rigged with acid. I recommend using it. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. You a survivor? Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. Oh. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the loud <coughs> echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't kill you. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. There's a reason their kind were hunted to extinction. It's better to be safe than let a dangerous race loose. Are we any better if we kill them all? If this had happened in Tokyo, or Armstrong, or on the Citadel, the death toll would be... You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Yeah. Go. Don't make me regret this.
Okay, nice. Well, what? Okay, let's see. What do we need to go? Deal with hot labs. Okay, well, let's go to the hot labs. Interesting. Well, at least we saved the rock queen. Now you know what, guys? This is a good place as any to put the cut. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.